All right, what's up, everyone? Welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Uh, today, we're going to be going over keyword match types in Google AdWords and Bing Ads. It's going to be our keyword match type tutorial. Uh, I want to go over all the different keyword match types there are and some of our recommendations and kind of best practices. Um, we'll also have a follow-up video related to this one, so make sure you look for that video where we talk about uh, bidding and some bidding strategies for Google AdWords and Bing Ads uh, so you can target these keywords and target them the best to your ability so that you're bidding on things and and not really competing with yourself, which is something that we see a lot in accounts. So to get started here, there's four different main types of keyword match types. Uh, there's broad match, there's modified broad match, there's phrase match, and there's an exact match. Uh, so we created this table here. So we go over each keyword match type. Uh, you can read the about here, uh, targeted keywords, how they work, match search queries. Uh, so these would match for these targeted keywords and non-match search queries. These would not match for these targeted keywords. So get started, broad match. So broad match is really, really broad and a little bit irrelevant sometimes. So we personally don't recommend using broad match at all. Um, if you just type in your keywords with no modifiers, like plus signs, like quotes, like brackets, um, just indoor soccer cleats is our example here. Uh, what's going to happen is they're going to match it with all sorts of different search queries. Um, so soccer shoes, turf soccer cleats, soccer cleats for kids, clearance soccer shoes. So a bunch of search queries that are related to indoor soccer cleats, but it's not a best practice to target keywords like this because you're not able to send people to the best landing page for every single keyword that you're targeting. Um, so some non-match search queries. So obviously if someone's talking about baseball cleats, soccer balls, football pads, these probably won't match with indoor soccer cleats, but you're going to get a wide variety of uh, search queries when people are typing into Google or Bing. Um, all these different search queries are going to match targeted keywords here that might not be the best keyword to target. So we don't really recommend using broad match and a good alternative to broad match is modified broad match. So uh, this we definitely recommend using kind of a mix of these three types of keyword match types in your campaigns. Um, and in the next video, we're going to kind of go over exactly how to do that. but. Um, for a modified broad match, you put a plus sign in front of every word you want to appear in the search query. So for indoor soccer cleats, what that means is that any search query where someone includes these three words, um, so it could just be indoor soccer cleats, it could be indoor turf soccer cleats, it could be black indoor soccer cleats, indoor soccer cleats sale here. Um, so all these different options here. Um, but if you don't include one of these words in the search query, um, what's going to happen is they're not going to match. So if someone does outdoor soccer cleats, it's not going to match because outdoor isn't in here. Uh, if you do indoor soccer shoes, not going to match. Indoor football cleats, not going to match. And then just regular soccer cleats, it's not going to match. Um, so modified broad match is, is a good way to, if you're not really too worried about the order of the keywords, um, things like that. So if you have indoor turf soccer cleats, um, you know, indoor grass soccer cleats, however it is, I'm not sure there's a lot of indoor grass, but... Um, Basically, you just put a plus sign in front of every word that must appear in the search query. So now, a little bit more targeted is phrase match. So this is where you're targeting exact phrases. Um, so this phrase has to be in the search query. There can't be any words in the middle of it. So the big difference between modified broad and phrase is modified broad, you could have something like indoor turf soccer cleats. Uh, so you could put a keyword in here. For phrase match, um, it's not going to match for that. So obviously, we have non-match search queries over here, indoor turf soccer cleats. Since that's not the phrase, it's not going to match. So it's got to be, you could have as many words beforehand or after, um, but it needs to have this phrase in there. So indoor soccer cleats, it'll match. Black indoor soccer cleats, uh, indoor soccer cleats sale or for sale. So anything like that, as long as the phrase is in here, uh, it's going to target for your keyword. Um, if you just have something like soccer cleats, not going to work. Best indoor black soccer cleats, not going to work. Outdoor, not going to work. And indoor turf, not going to work. Now exact, this is probably the easiest to obviously understand. Um, so it's just got to be the exact keyword or a very close variant. Uh, so what that means is, say you're targeting the exact keyword indoor soccer cleats. And again, you have this in brackets here. Freeze match keywords go in quotes. And then the modified broad, obviously you put a plus sign in front of every keyword or in front of every word that must be in the search query. So for exact match, you put brackets around. So it's only going to match searches that like indoor soccer cleats or where there's some plurals maybe. So if it's indoor soccer cleat, it'll still match this um, indoors soccer cleats. So things like that. If there's some plurals here, it'll still match. But anything else, outdoor soccer cleats, soccer cleats, best indoor, you know, anything else besides kind of these types of keywords, just uh, the same exact 
phrase or a very close variant with just plurals, like things like, you know, indoors soccer cleats would still match for this. Um, so that's basically how exact match works. Um, so when you're targeting these things into Google AdWords, so now we're going to go back. We're in Google AdWords here, so we're just going to do a quick example. So you're going to see our ad group here, indoor soccer cleats. When you're entering keywords, so let's just assume we want to target indoor soccer cleats with all four different types of match types. So the way it would work, you know, kind of like how I showed you in the last example, this would be a broad match keyword. So if you don't do any modifiers, if you don't do any quotes, anything like that, it's just going to be a broad match keyword every time. And you can see down here, um, you know, match type. So you see keyword equals broad match. Keyword in quotes equals phrase match. Keyword in brackets equals exact match. They don't show modified broad here, but um, if you click on learn more, they have a little bit more about it. So um, this would be just a regular broad match keyword. So now we have a modified broad version. And again, with modified broad, you could also do something like um, indoor soccer cleats. Um, so you could do something like this. Again, it's going to match for a little bit more, but it's going to be it's going to match for more keywords than this one up top. Uh, so they'll try to find keywords similar to indoor. Uh, so maybe you have like dome soccer cleats, um, things like that. It might match. So you could also you don't have to put a plus sign in front of every single keyword like that. Um, but I recommend doing it. I think it works the best. The only time the only time you really don't want to put a plus sign in front of it if it's just like short words like the or to do or things like that. I don't. Know. So let's get rid of that here. So now phrase match would be in quotes, indoor soccer cleats. And again, that would have to match the exact phrase. And then exact match would be in brackets. So if you were to enter your keywords just like this, and you were to come down and click save and continue, so now you're targeting this keyword in every single type of match type, which really isn't what you want to do. Um, you kind of want to use, so for me, what I do is I'll get rid of Definitely get rid of the modif or the the broad match keyword, and then you have modified broad phrase and exact here. Uh, what I like to do is, if I'm doing something like indoor soccer cleats, I would try to use phrase and exact match keywords. Um, so now, I know if people are typing this in, they're going to have an interest mostly in indoor soccer cleats, regardless of what the different options are. And if I have a good landing page where, let's just say for example, some some of the different options here for phrase match. You know, if, if someone has something like that, they come to my website. If, as long as I have a little filter where they could just click on sale or they can uh, rank by price, uh, maybe they do indoor soccer cleats under $70, um, something like that, or best indoor soccer cleats. It's good to have a phrase um, because if you're doing the modified broad match version, you might have something like indoor black soccer cleats under $70. So instead of targeting this keyword with a modified broad match because you have someone who's looking for black cleats that are also 70 under seventy dollars that are also indoor you could try to you know do this a little bit different again the next video I want to show you how to kind of structure your campaigns and bid on these types of keywords so you have it uh, the best way possible so um, the way I would do it is target keywords just like this and then when you're adding new ad groups maybe you have an outdoor ad group so you have outdoor soccer cleats and then you would just do the same exact thing up here, but just change indoor to outdoor. And then you're, you're sending people to landing pages on your website uh, that would actually fit for these types of cleats. Um, so let's say, you know, if you're Dick's Sporting Goods, for example, you don't want to send someone who's looking for indoor soccer cleats to a page with outdoor soccer cleats and vice versa. So that's kind of how that works. Once you click Save and Continue, you're going to be targeting these keywords correctly. Again, you can see some different options down here. Um, so however you want to do it. And the, key, the reason why you want these to be as targeted as possible is because if if I'm a consumer, I go to Google and I type in outdoor soccer cleats. If I get an ad that says indoor soccer cleats, get the best indoor turf soccer cleats, I'm not going to click on it. So you want to structure these well. So if I click outdoor soccer cleats, I get an ad that says best outdoor soccer cleats, you know, 2017, 2018, whatever year it is. And basically you're sending them to a page then with just outdoor soccer cleats. So as targeted as possible, as relevant as possible. If you're not creating a great user experience for your customers, um, why would they click on your ad? Why would they buy from you? So that's kind of the key with PPC advertising and keyword match types. The biggest mistake that people make is they just come in here and they do, you know, indoor soccer cleats, indoor soccer shoes, um, best indoor soccer cleats. So now these are all broad match keywords and then they come down here and they go outdoor soccer cleats 
outdoor soccer shoes, et cetera, et cetera. And then what happens when they start running their campaign, let's say you're bidding a dollar uh, for each of these keywords. What happens when you start bidding on your campaign is certain keywords, you're going to have these uh, search queries matching for the wrong keywords just because it's all broad match. It's not, you're not telling Google, you know, what phrase to do or what modifiers to use. So even if you were to say indoor soccer cleats like this, and you just did a modifier on indoor, that would be at least a good start. Um, so then people at least have to type in indoor soccer cleats. And when they do, it should match uh, for this ad group. But again, I like to use phrase match, exact match, try to really nail down keywords and really get people uh, exactly what they're looking for. So that's our how to set up keyword match types. Uh, we're going to do another video uh, for bidding. Um, so when you're doing your keyword match types, you can actually bid properly. Uh, so our bid strategy. So definitely keep on the lookout for that one. We'll have that out in the next day or so. And uh, thanks for joining us today. Make sure you subscribe to our channel, share our videos. We always appreciate it. And uh, this is the Surfside PPC YouTube channel.